Yo, just recently a big storm broke out with the statements of Khloe Kardashian's ex-husband Lamar Odom. It turns out that the former NBA player crossed the line not only with the consumption of drugs and alcohol, but he also confessed to being a sex addict. You name it, strippers, adult film stars, it's your boy Marky Mark here and I'ma tell you the dirty details of this weirdo Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom is rocking the headlines again. But not thanks to his new achievements in sports, but because of his honestly shocking confessions in his new biography, A Memoir Darkness. But let's recall all the positive moments of the NBA star first. I'll just tell you what, none of the periods of his life were easy. His mother passed away from cancer when Lamar was barely 12 years old. A decade later, his grandmother also passed away, who became his second mother to him. But it wasn't until the last loss of his beloved son, 12 years ago, at 6 months old, Jaden, passed away because of a so-called sudden death syndrome. That's why he never said his life was easy. According to Lamar, he developed paranoia, anxiety, and depression, which added to the fame of the new life of an NBA and American television star. It was all overwhelming. He's also a human after all. All of this broke the former Lakers player to the point that he started abusing illegal substances and it wasn't only his addiction, women were another one of them. Well, he definitely went breaking bad when in 2015, he spent four days in a coma in a hospital in Nevada after almost dying of an overdose. He was found unconscious on the outskirts of one of his favorite places to have fun, a Las Vegas brothel. He was immediately taken to the hospital, where his ex-wife Khloe Kardashian showed up to still take care of him. Khloe and Lamar were married from 2009 to 2013, but that year she got so sick of his repeated accidents with her husband that she decided to end their marriage. If you think his behavior couldn't have been that bad, I got something to tell you. We can't check to see how true the statement is, but the only reason to lie would be to gain more popularity. I don't think anyone sane would like to be known or be famous for sleeping with 2,000 women, except for Lamar apparently because that's the confession that he made in his upcoming biography. There he claims to be obsessed with sex and adult journals revealing that the enormous number of ladies he had slept with. It's not that we don't believe him, but according to the studies, the average number of women a man of his age shouldn't have been more than 50. So he must have tried really hard, spending his every spare minute on pleasuring his desires. And what else is interesting? Does he have a diary where he marks down every woman he spends the night with? So not to lose count or something? I don't know. According to Lamar himself, he never knew how to deal with the misfortunes that happened in his life. This is why he has troubles keeping it in his pants if you know what I mean. Now he says that he is truly sorry for all the mistakes he made in the past and especially for all the suffering he brought to Chloe. Lamar also said that he couldn't be a man that she deserved, but he'll be trying to change himself. Probably he'll go to special rehab where his condition could be treated. And later, as a real celebrity, he would create a charity foundation to help people with the same addictions. Well, what do you think about the shocking confessions of Lamar Odom? Do you think he'll ever recover from his addictions? We would love to read your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with Curious Sips. See you soon.